Welcome to the Pro Kitchen Wall Tutorial. This tutorial will demonstrate how to draw walls in the standard interface for Pro Kitchen software. Walls are the foundation of your design and typically the very first thing you will draw when designing an interior. Measurements are critical and must be accurate. Let's get started on our walls. Before we begin creating walls, it is important to set the values for our wall settings. You may locate your wall settings under the View and Settings tab and then Design Settings. Under the Construction tab, you will see this is where we locate the wall thickness, wall zone width, wall height, and wall item alignment. To change a measurement, simply highlight the field and type in the value or use the arrows found at the end of the field. The arrows on the left increase or decrease the value by a full inch, and the arrows on the right increase or decrease by a fraction of an inch. Under the Draw and Place tab are the Wall Sketch tools and the Wall Shapes. Wall Shapes are room templates to quickly add walls to your design. U-Shape, L-Shape, and Rectangle. Select the layout by clicking on the icon that best suits your design. For this example, we will use the U-Shape template. Enter the measurements for each wall as labeled in the image on the left. Pro Kitchen reads both fractions and decimals, so you can type it in either way. Notice the wall height set in the design settings has already been applied. Select an orientation and click OK. Now, you can begin adding cabinets from a catalog. To delete a wall shape, right-click on any wall, select Wall, then the Wall Group, and click Delete from the submenu. To draw walls manually, we will use the Sketch tool. Click on the Sketch icon, move your cursor to your plan, and it will turn into a plus sign. This indicates that you are in edit mode within Pro Kitchen. Position your cursor where you want to begin drawing and click once on the plan view to start. Move your cursor in the direction you want your wall to be placed. Always draw walls clockwise or your placement zones will be on the wrong side of the wall and your cabinets will be placed backwards. Remove your hand from your mouse and now you can type in the width you need for that wall in the info panel on the left. The width field is already selected and ready for you to type in a value. Once you have entered in the width measurement value, hit enter or return on your keyboard and it will place that wall and begin drawing an adjoining wall. Repeat these steps until all your walls are drawn and hit the escape key to stop drawing walls and exit edit mode. Now you can use your mouse to expand your design view by clicking on the arrow and the checkbox in the top right hand corner of your Pro Kitchen interface. This will allow you to hide your menu ribbon and top toolbar. Use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out of your plan view and adjust your view to the appropriate size. Click on a wall to select it and display the green wall handles. Right clicking on a wall will display the wall tools menu. Rotate, move, Resize and Add Wall can all be done with one click using the wall handles. Clicking on a wall handle will enter edit mode so you can make changes to your walls. The left and right arrow moves the selected wall horizontally, while the up and down arrow moves the selected wall vertically. Take note that both adjustments may make changes to the measurements of adjoining walls. The V-shaped wall handle will adjust the angle of the corner at the opposite end of the selected wall. Use the angle field in the info box to keep your design measurements precise. The plus wall handle will add a wall and automatically connect it to the adjacent walls. Two tools that do not have wall handles are extrude and bend. These options do not have handles because they require more than a single reference point to extrude or bend your walls. You can access these from the Wall Tool menu. Extrude will extrude or regress a portion of a wall, 
Once you select it from the tool menu, a square will appear on the selected wall and follow your cursor. Click to mark your starting point. Move your cursor in, out, up, or down to create the desired indentation and click again to set. Bend will add a concave or convex radius to the selected wall. Once selected from the tool menu, move your cursor to the location of the crown of the curve and click to set. To change an individual wall, use the Wall Attributes. Simply select Attributes from the bottom of the Wall Tool menu or double click on a wall to launch the Wall Attributes dialog box. Wall Attributes set the construction, placement zones, dimensions, shape, material, and texture of each wall individually. For example, a pony wall would be an adjustment in the attribute of that wall's dimensions. An accent wall would be an adjustment in the attribute of that wall's texture. To make a precise radius wall, select the curvature tab in the wall attributes. Select convex or concave for the type and then set the perimeter by selecting sector, depth, or radius and typing in the value. Check the bigger than semicircle to override a perimeter's limitation. Press the 3D button in the preview box on the right to view the wall changes in 3D and use the navigation buttons to adjust the image in the preview. Click OK to save your changes. Now that you understand how to make walls in ProKitchen, you are able to create the fundamental foundation for all of your future ProKitchen designs.